cuddles with all my not all some of it lovely book and as you can see it's all natural type of wool it's not uh, being probably only this bit is uh, commercially dyed but rest of it is all natural and it, uh, don't get me wrong I appreciate uh, the beauty of it and I have huge respect for people who are able to spin one color for hours. Kilos and kilos of beauty fluff of one color being spun in a beautiful yarn. I have to confess I'm not able to do so. No way, no how. So, I came with idea how I can still have nice, beautiful, natural <sighs> wool turn into something nicer. And I have to be honest with you, it doesn't take much other beautiful things to make this a bit more appealing for me. What I'm talking about? This much. <laughs> yes. So, as little as this I need to transform this goodness into treasure. I promise that's gonna be a quick one. Without wasting your time, straight into business. So in this video I show you how you can use up all your bits and bobs, some leftovers, which not really enough amount of uh, to do something decent of it, but just little transformation might change the fate of a lot of lovely things in your stash. I'm not gonna use any tools, no drum cards, no hand cards, no anything else, anything else which you can use to mix the fibers. Just because any commercially made um, top into flat shape because it's originally was made as a nice white but very thin blanket of fibers and just because it's in built pull together to create this lovely round shape so, what I'm doing now, I open a bit of rolling and put them in a pile in a random layers, sorry, in a random order, uh, just layer by layer by layer, but as you can see, being only natural colors and to bring a bit of sparkle literally <laughs> I gonna add just tiny bit of color in this way it makes it a bit more interesting for me especially I hope for you too in the same time you still will be uh, able to see the beauty of this natural colors, fibers, textures, you name it. Right, so I'm using at the moment um, wool 
which is intensively mixed with Angelina. But other one, it's too sparkly, so I'm not going to be crazy with it. Okay, just to make you know whole process much easier, I already divided my uh, tops into smaller, shorter pieces, preferably the same bed, but it is how it is. Something a bit longer, something a bit shorter. It's all right. It's absolutely fine. The only thing you have to be aware of, your fibers should stay straight along the whole length of your pile. Nothing crossing because that might be not very easy for future manipulations you need to do with it. Okay, let's do it faster. you want um, as tall as you want or as little as you want depends on what sort of materials you want to use and you can see all the layers nice and beautiful so now is a time when all the fun begins so uh, I think it's obviously that uh, it's quite difficult to spin how it is so as you can guess we need to divide it in more manageable bits okay just put apart one half and second That. So, <laughs> because the pile was so tall, so some bits are quite difficult to stay um, upwards on its own. And if it's collapsed, it's absolutely fine. So, what I can do? Right. So now I just need to divide it in a smaller pieces which is going to be easier to manage and the main rule is if you keep many colors many layers in one piece and you just redraft it you will get more colors in uh, each uh, piece of uh, for spinning but you also can divide the uh, just between layers like that and um, you will get some variation of colors in each uh, rowing you're gonna do it so I just recommend you to pre-draft it in this way the fibers gonna get a bit more connected and friction between fibers we're gonna gonna hold them together okay and when it's done to keep it all together you simply roll it into a lovely nest that's how I call it when you 
when you pre drafting you need to remember to keep hands a bit apart so in this way you don't hold both ends of fibers and that slides against each other much easier Pasta. you got some um, uh, repetition of color everywhere so the yarn of, from this mount <laughs> gonna be very nice and um, consistent in colors of course you can you know get <laughs> walk another mile and go through the pile and saying okay that's more brownish one pile that's more turquoise in other pile and separate them in a you know piles according to the uh, what color you can see more and organize them um, in sort of order if you want to but I want only one thing now to get to my spinning wheel as soon as possible and I think you understand why. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I really enjoyed this bed. <laughs> I hope you too. And if you like this video, please give thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell button, so you're not uh, gonna uh, miss on a video about the yarn made of these beauties. All right. Anyway, I appreciate your time and hopefully see you again. Bye.